Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. So in this video, we are going to learn about creating a splash screen, or maybe you can say that welcome screen in Excel with the help of Visual Basic application code and user form. So as you know that a splash screen add a lot of value in your application. So suppose you are developing a professional application and you have not added any splash screen, then that application application will not you know uh, leave a good impact on you know your user so adding a splash screen or welcome screen is a very good habit and you can uh, it's a professional practice you can see that right so let me show you uh, a splash screen uh, example so whenever we click on any of the application maybe we are going to open the powerpoint application and once you click on powerpoint application there is a splash uh, first of all uh, powerpoint show uh, shows the splash screen and after that like maybe after a couple of seconds it uh, like splash screen disappears and then powerpoint application started reflecting on your screen so let's uh, start the powerpoint here click on powerpoint 2016 and here you can see that this is a splash screen and after a couple of seconds like you can see that this has been disappeared and now powerpoint application is you know uh, available on your screen so in the same way uh, while developing any of the application in visual basic application or excel you can uh, you can uh, create a splash screen with the help of visual basic and user form so let's close this uh, powerpoint application and uh, move to the folder where i have already created a uh, splash screen so this is the demo file basically assuming that uh, this particular uh, uh, file is a application which has been developed in uh, Microsoft Visual Basic application. So let's open this file. And once you'll open this file, it will ask the enable to mac like enable macro. So as soon as you like uh, you will click on enable content, the splash screen will start reflecting on your screen and it will appear maybe for a couple of seconds, uh, the seconds or the time which we have provided. So here I have given five seconds for that. So let's click on enable. And now you can see that uh, this is a simple though it's a splash screen which is related with my application right so this is very good example and you can use this type of you know uh, splash screen in your application so let's close this excel application and create the the file from the beginning so let's start excel okay create blank workbook and save the file save as browse and choose the designated folder where you want to save so i'm just going to save this file where i have kept the demo file press ctrl c and just press ctrl v click on save and give the name as s plus a screen in vva okay make sure you have selected a macro enable file here as save as type now click on save now we have saved our file and a splash screen in vba let's uh, create the splash screen so to do that just click on developer tab over here and then under code group just click on visual basic once you click on visual basic uh, you will be able, like you will be jump to visual basic microsoft visual basic for application here we need to add uh, like form user form so let's click on insert and then user form now we need to add some property like uh, assign some properties over here like height width and name so let's uh, give the name as frm splash right and the height should be 302.25 and width should be 493.5 so now we have successfully uh, uh, assigned the width and height and name of this uh, this form let's remove the caption so here just go on top and caption just delete the caption because there is no need of caption over here now uh, uh, like we need to uh, use some image or maybe you can utilize some text box or you know logo here so to make this video shorter i have created uh, a image file from uh, with the help of microsoft powerpoint let me move to the demo file 
folder here and here you can see that this is the splash screen image which I have already created with the help of PowerPoint application okay so let's load this app load this uh, image in our visual basic like on the form to so select the form here and in properties window and let's uh, click on picture here and just give this just select this splash screen or jpg so now you can see that uh, the image is has started reflecting on our user form okay so let's insert one module here so insert and then module and we need to add uh, one sub procedure to close the form basically right so i start writing sub close the form okay and unload splash so this is the basic you know very simple uh, sub procedure which we will utilize to unload this or close you can see that to close this uh, user form right let's move to uh, this workbook and click on workbook and then open so before uh, let's start writing the code here and on workbook uh, open event we need to start the frm flash like uh, splash basically so we need to write frm splash dot show very simple and the third line of code we need to write on uh, frm splash so let's double click on frm splash and in event you just need to uh, select you can see that activate so here we need to select activate and just delete the procedure related with click events and let's start writing the code here so we need to write the code as uh, like on time event so application dot on time and then now plus the time serial will be zero hours zero minute and zero uh, five second so we need to after five second this particular uh, form will uh, get closed automatically right comma close the form okay so this is done so we uh, we need only three lines of code one is to one is on user underscore uh, activate and one is on in open a workbook open event and one is for to close the close this particular window right frms plus this is done uh, let me test this click on this and now you can see that this particular uh, splash screen is available here and now after second uh, five seconds it has been terminated so let's save this file close the microsoft visual basic application window and again save this excel close this and under in application this is the application uh, splash screen in vba just double click on that and enable the macro and you can see that this is the splash screen which is available on our screen so hope uh, you like this video thank you for watching please like share subscribe and comment have a great day bye bye